The Hoatzin, Apisthecomus hosen, often nicknamed the stinky bird, skunk bird, or reptile bird, is one of the strangest birds on Earth, a creature that seems stitched together from leftover parts of evolution. The Hoatzin earns its nickname from its unpleasant, manure-like smell. It's the only bird in the world that digests food like a cow, through bacterial fermentation in an enlarged crop, a pouch in the throat. This process helps break down leaves, but releases, well, fermentation fumes. Hoats and chicks are born with claws on their wings. Real, functioning claws used to climb trees and escape predators by scrambling back up branches after a dive into the water. These claws disappear as they mature, but they give the species a prehistoric, almost dinosaur-like reputation. While most birds rely on easy-to-digest foods like seeds, insects, or fruit, the Hoatzin is one of the only strictly foliverous birds, meaning it mostly eats leaves. Its gut is so large for fermentation that it can barely fly, its body looks swollen, and its sternum is oddly shaped compared to other birds. It's basically the sloth of the bird world. Slow, leafy, and chill. Hoatzins are instantly recognizable with bright red eyes, a spiky, mohawk-like crest of feathers, blue facial skin and chestnut, cream, and dark brown plumage. They look like someone crossed a peacock with a punk band member. Because their feathers aren't waterproof and they nest above water, chicks have evolved this survival trick. When danger approaches, they jump into the water, swim away, and climb back up using their wing claws. Yes, a bird that swims as a baby, climbs like a lizard, then grows up to barely fly. Hoatzins are found along slow-moving Amazon and Orinoco rivers, swamps, mangroves, and flooded forests, Varzia. They live in noisy family groups and are known for their croaks, grunts, and prehistoric-sounding calls. For decades, scientists have struggled to place the Hoatzin on the bird family tree. Recent genetic studies suggest it's an ancient independent lineage making it one of the most evolutionarily unique birds alive today.